Voting has commenced in some areas in Kogi West senatorial supplementary elections. The rerun, which first took place on November 16, was declared inconclusive by the returning officer of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Olainde Lawal. According to him, the total margin between the All Progressive Congress, Smart Ademi, and the People's Democratic Party, Senator Dino Malai, was lower than the number of cancelled votes in 53 polling units of the 20 registered. INEC officials and sensitive materials arrived polling units before 7 a.m., but voting commenced at about 9 a.m. in Itedo Ward, Yagba East Local Government Area, Ward D004, Local Judge Local Government Area, Ayi Dayo Registration Area, Mopa Moro Local Government Area. And now, Adeni Yukunu, a public affairs analyst, joins us in the studio to assess the conduct of the election so far. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. Uh, interestingly, we always have you here when we're talking about the elections. Yes, but yes. Uh, there were concerns about the rerun of this election and that there will be some form of voter apathy. Could, we, could that be what we're experiencing right now? Well, I'd say that uh, if we did a retrospect to what happened on November 16, you'd agree with me that that is enough to cause some form of disenchantment uh, in terms of what um, people uh, will want to participate in. We still know that um, major deaths happened and uh, perhaps investigations are still ongoing. Um, you may want to doubt, uh, but we also found out that uh, we had complicity of those who supposedly should provide security during elections. Mm -hmm. And some of the simplistic things I've heard include the fact that those were fake police officers. So the question would be, where did the original police officers travel to when the elections held? Uh, there are things we shouldn't be saying, especially in the year 2019, because it makes us uh, stack critical of the world. Uh, so those reasons are enough to really make people not want to participate. But essentially, civic responsibility is civic responsibility. And the person you support in an election should be the person you go all the way for. If that person will fulfill the aspirations of the electorate that really believe in him or her. That said, uh, let us also look at INEC as a body that regulates election. I think that INEC um, appears not to understand that the dynamics of the times have changed. And rather than come out to conduct elections, you need to understand that part of your responsibilities is to educate the voter way ahead of the election. It is not enough that when elections are near, you try to make people understand what they should do. It is for people to also be sensitized enough to know that your life is more important than this and that measures have been put in place to deal with it. So I have to say that vote apathy should be expected and I do not know how Dino Melaye will really fare because the gap between Nido Melaye and uh, Ademi Smart happened to be quite uh, significant. But nothing is cast in stone, especially when you go to the polls. So we can only wait to see. But I have to say that there is a lot we must address and it is not what we should be experiencing this time. With, the, with all of the outcry and the reservations that were expressed by both international and local observers yeah. and voters, and let's not forget that a lady was burned alive. Yes, of course. One would hope that voters would come out to make a statement. But just like we saw in Lagos and several other places in the March yeah. general elections, we're seeing a repeat of that. Is there a remedy whatsoever to this situation that Nigerians somewhat resign to fate? After In the first place, one of the remedies would be to amend uh, that part of the constitution that places the responsibility on the shoulders of the president to appoint the INEC chairperson. I think that when you are to participate in an election, you do not have to be the person appointing the person who will superintend over the elections. Um, that is an anomaly. There should be more or less like you have the National Judicial Commission and the fact that oftentimes it is uh, on the shoulders of the president to more or less uh, walk his way towards the appointment of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. These are things that must be looked at. The president shouldn't be appointing the INEC chairman, particularly in an election that he will likely participate in. That's one step. Then at the same time, I think that um, INEC should ask for more fund to train and retrain many of our officers. Because there are certain things that some of those people know, maybe perhaps they joined INEC in the past 20, 25 years, and a lot of things have changed between then and now. Uh, and at the same time, you don't keep 
roast fish where you keep a cat that has not been fed. They should review whatever it is that INEC officers take home. It is very, very important. Um, you can't expect a person who is put at the security post to overlook maybe the proper keeping of a billionaire and the person takes home 25000 That's ridiculous. So whatever it is that the person... But whatever has, happened to um, sincerity, a purpose, integrity, because these are some of the characteristics that you look out for when you're putting a person in an office, and should we be saying that poverty is the reason or greed? Because poverty, mm -hmm. INEC officials, they're also Nigerians. They're, they're, they're not from the moon, are they? But I, so but whatever I, problems we're facing in this country, shouldn't that be also what should fuel the integrity and purpose? Okay, let, let's say this. Uh, permit me go to some of the democracies we reference. Even if I must say here before the world, that when you talk about World Press, Free Press Freedom Index, um, the United States is about 48 out of 180 countries, and the UK is about uh, 33 out of 180 countries. In fact, countries like Namibia, countries like uh, South Africa and the rest fare better. But let me refer to them. There's what they call social welfare. The welfare that they often provide ensures that you don't go hungry and that certain basics are provided for between then and when you're able to get your next job or source of income. But the reverse is the case. Poverty has a lot of indexes. And if you don't understand that, that's when we want to deceive ourselves. It's often difficult to carry the enthusiasm and commitment of a hungry man, especially when you talk about elections. So I think it's very needful okay. that government addresses uh, these very important issues.